The conference brought together former and seven security chiefs, head of security agencies, members of the executive, commanders of joint tax forces and other military strategies. The commander's conference comes against the backdrop of recent casualties suffered by troops in different theaters of operation and a resurgence of adoption, particularly in the northeast and northwest region of the country. This conference is another opportunity to reflect on how it would affect operationalities. Learn from others and ponder on what to do differently to secure your theatre operations. While pursuing our national security objectives, it is imperative that we remain wary of the fluid nature of our security environment. The notable threats ranging from insurgency, terrorism, separatism, kidnapping, economic sabotage, cybercrime, transnational crimes. I'll continue to dig deep into our national security fabrics. These challenges demand a comprehensive approach, one that encompasses not only military action, but also other elements of national power. The former CDS, General Irabot, tax commanders to build a strong relationship with host communities to foster gathering of intelligence and reduce casualties. The perpetrators of this high loss crime must be made to face the full wrath of the law. To forestall future occurrence, therefore, there must be further conversations on the limit to aid to civil authority. As we encourage non-kinetic operations and community engagements. I would like to use this opportunity to reiterate the importance of joint, jointness in a joint environment, the constant involving dynamic of the security challenges we are facing. The military is currently involved in different operations in all geopolitical zones of the country, but is determined to accomplish the task set before it. John Taylor, ITV News.